Hello guys, welcome back to Raver's Mead. Uh, today's video is going to be entertaining, I hope. Um, I have the monstrous task of clipping Woody. Um, I'll get him in in a minute and I'll show you exactly why that is a monstrous task. But seriously, he's so hairy, like so, so hairy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give him a clip today and I thought I would give you guys a look at that and give you some clipping tips that I have along the way as well. So hopefully it'll be a little bit informative and helpful for you as well. Uh, but yeah, let's go get him in and we'll have a look at the state he's in. It's really bad. Um, and we'll give him a nice haircut. Alright, let's take a look at this mess monster. Say hello Woody. I have literally been putting this off for a week, maybe two weeks now. Um, oh no, he's a bit sweaty. Eh, that's not a good start. Um, so yeah, that's first tip of the day. Trying to clip a dirty or sweaty horse does not usually go well. Um, the blades usually get kind of stuck on it and they just don't enjoy a dirty coat so I'm not sure how well this is gonna go actually maybe I should have done it this morning when it was cooler but trouble is he's sweaty at any time of the day at the moment because he is ridiculously hairy um so let me show you check that out look at all the bum fluff he's got all that look at a fuzzy tummy look at it and that is and you can see all up here where he's been hot and sweaty and I mean look at that ear fluff look at that that is a fuzzy beast oh you got flies on your face that is a fuzzy beast isn't it Mr Woodster I'm gonna get him down here as well look at this look, look at all those fuzzy bits somebody desperately needs a haircut <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a brush because I was hoping he would be clean, but he is not. He is sweaty and kind of disgusting. Um, just rubbing my hands over him there and I've got like sweaty, yucky stuff on me. So clippers are not going to enjoy that. So I'm going to give him a quick brush um, and then I'll get everything set up. And hopefully they will get through this mess of hair that is sitting before me right now. Should we get you all tidied up, handsome? Let's do like a before and after shot, shall we? So here's the before shot. And then maybe later on I can do some cool editing stuff or something and do a side by side, but here he is. So he wasn't actually too dusty and dirty. Um, I'm happy enough with that. I've clipped dirtier horses than this before and it's been okay. So and it's not like we're going anywhere in the immediate future. So if he does have a few tram lines, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, but yeah, one of the main reasons you're going to get an untidy clip, if you ever get like tram lines or chunky bits or the blades just aren't cutting well, one of the main reasons for that is going to be because your horse has dirty hair. Clippers are not great on dirty, greasy hair. So ideally you want to give your horse a bath before you clip them. Um, I very rarely do because I'm just lazy. Uh, and I always make sure whenever I'm clipping, I leave plenty of time between when I'm clipping and when I'm planning on taking them out in public. So if I do make a mess of it, uh, no one's gonna see them. Well, nobody who really matters is gonna see them. Like I don't have a problem hacking out with a dodgy clip but you know I'm not gonna be going in the show ring or anything like that so uh, I'm gonna go and get my clippers set up now I have a feeling that I didn't clean them last time I used them because I think 
there's been beard trimming going on and then they've been chucked back in the box and then the box got hastily put away while I was tidying up and then yeah so they may be a bit of a mess so let's have a look at that okay yeah so these are pretty um rusty actually that's not good <laughs> um I mean they're salvageable they're not awful actually they're just a bit a bit neglected but a good bit of oil and a good tidy up and they'll be as good as new um I'm not going to bother taking these apart and cleaning them because I am about to use them so I'm just going to chuck a load of oil on there um get these blades nice and greased up and then we're just going to crack on and go for it and I will give these a proper clean when I'm done. I vaguely remember the last time I clipped I uh, I went through this where I hadn't bothered to clean them properly before I put them away. Um, oh. Well that's a pain in the butt. Um, battery's not working. Huh. I'm going to see if I can find my other battery. I'm sure I charged this. This was charged, so I don't know why it's not working. This vlog is rapidly going down the toilet, guys. <laughs> right, so this is going well. Um, my clipper battery isn't working. And I'm, I swear we charged that the other day, ready to clip him. Maybe we didn't switch it on, I don't know. Either that or the battery's knackered, which is very annoying. And I haven't got a clue where my spare battery is either. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna be clipping you today, Woody. You're gonna have to stay hairy. That sucks. <laughs> this is literally the worst clipping vlog in the history of clipping vlogs, right? I'm not even going to get to clip him. <laughs> oh, Woody. Whoops. I have no idea where my spare battery is. Like, literally no idea. I know where it should be, and it's not. There's one more place I need to look, actually. I found the spare battery. It was buried under towels. I have no idea if this is charged or not. Ooh. How not to treat one's battery. Right. Oh, it's dead. Oh, okay, right. Well, in that case, I may as well take my clippers apart and give them a proper clean. And then I think I'll just give him a good brush and maybe I'll get the massage gun out on him because he'll enjoy that. Um, and yeah. This went so well. <laughs> Okay, it's fine because I can just show you guys how you are supposed to clean them, put away your clippers rather than ha what I did last time, which is just chuck them away filthy. And I don't know if you can really see, I don't think this camera is going to focus, but they're kind of like rusting a little bit. Um, so yeah, when you finish clipping and you go to put your clippers away, if you don't want to end up with rusty knackered blades and jammed up clippers in the future, you want to take it all apart um, and give it a good clean and a good oil. So to get all of this off, you have to unscrew this little knobby here, which always takes an eternity. Okay, and then you've got, oh, still going. <laughs> it takes so long. Oh, okay, so you've got your little bit there, your little knob, your spring, make sure you don't lose your spring, um, that is a vital part, and then you've got the screw that goes through the middle, and then your blade and your guard should pop off like that. Now that is, I really don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this very well, um, but yeah, that's pretty disgusting to be honest uh, so I'm gonna wipe all of that hair and crud off of there um, and I'm gonna get all of that off of there and then I'm gonna give this a really good oiling and put it back together before I put it away uh, so let's just do one piece at a time so you can get proper little brushes for cleaning clipper blades um, I'm just gonna use a body brush because that's what I have here 
I do have a proper brush somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I have lots of things somewhere, I just never know where they are. I'm gonna pull the hair up there. Now, blades are gonna go rusty eventually. Um, it's really not the end of the world when it's a bit like this, like a bit discolored, but obviously you don't want them to go completely rusty because they're gonna end up blunt and not much use at that point. Um, so yeah, that's absolutely fine now. I'm not gonna be too fussy because I am going to be using them probably tomorrow. I will have another go at clipping him. Uh, I can't believe that. Do you know what? I had it in my head when I was on my way home from work, like, is the battery going to work? Because we've had trouble with one of our batteries for a while now. Um, and we've had trouble with our smaller set of trimmers as well. And I was thinking all the way back from work, like, is this going to go well today or is something going to go wrong? But hey ho. <laughs> it is amusing anyway. As I said, using a smaller brush is probably better for getting in these gaps, but again, I'm going to be using this tomorrow, so I'm not going to be overly fussy. I just realised I'm flicking bits of dirt and grime all over my camera lens, that's not great. Okay, uh, that is going to be fine for that. Now, if I was cleaning these to put these away in storage, I would be a lot fussier than this, but I'm not. I'm going to be using them, so... Uh, that's absolutely fine for now. So I've got my blade pieces here. Now I'm going to take the opportunity to oil these individually while I've got them out. Um, just to make sure they get a good covering. Now if I was being really fussy I could get like a little rough, rough edge of a sponge and knock that rust off but I'm really not that fussed. Um, okay, so to put your blades back together, you want this piece first. You've got your clipper blades. Uh, that needs to slot over that. So like that, on there. And then there we go. So this is slotted into the little gap here. So you can see there's a little notch, so that pops in like that. And then you're going to pop this one. It's going to go over these little nobles here. Just like that. And then you want your screw through the middle with the threaded side coming back up through the top here. Don't forget to put your spring back on. Oops, and then you're going to screw this little knobby back on top of all of that. And again, this part takes what feels like an eternity, especially when you're filming it. Now, to tension these correctly, you're going to want to tighten this up as much as you can, just hand tight. You don't want to force it or anything or jam it. So, as tight as it goes comfortably. Um, and then you want to go back one and a half turns. So, you've got a little notch on here to indicate. So, I want to go back one and a half turns, and that's going to correctly tension the blades for clipping. So, I'm going to do that now, ready for when I use them tomorrow. So, it's one and a half. Okay. Now, that is how I would normally store my clippers, not covered in hair and crap and stuff. Um, as like I said, for long-term storage, I would be a lot fussier than this, and I would get a fine brush in there and get all the hair out of like this bit, but that's going to keep the blades in good condition, so that's absolutely fine for now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to abandon the clipping. Um, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the massage gun out, actually, and just give them a little massage and a pamper and then put them to bed. So. I will show you guys that instead. So this thing, we've been really having some fun with this. The horses love it like so much. Um, this was under 50 quid. I got it on Amazon. It's just a random brand. I don't even know how you say that. It's not an Equin specific one, but Oh my goodness, they love it so much, and it has really helped to loosen up a lot of kinks in them. Let's go ahead and stick it on full whack, and uh, give them a little nice. 
Mr. Woodster, not nice and relaxing. Yeah, you're nice and mellow. No, they absolutely love that. It's very relaxing, isn't it, sweetie? And as well as it being really nice and really relaxing for them, it's actually been really interesting and helpful for me because um, when you go over a tender spot, you get a very obvious reaction from them. Um, and it's been really interesting to see where their tender spots actually are. Like I had a hunch with a fair few of them, but obviously because that device has the ability to sort of go into deep tissue massage, um, it's actually been revealing a few tight spots and a few knots in places that I didn't think they had any, um, which we're working on now. Uh, it's just been really interesting to see where all their little tender spots are and hopefully get those, some of those worked out. Um, he's doing a lot better for it actually, so the first time I used it on him he had a lot of tension uh, in the sort of the side of his back. I think it was mostly on this side but a little bit on his left side as well um, and that's, uh, that's all but gone now, that's significantly improved um, and with Blue as well he had a lot of tension sort of in this area um, and those muscles on him now look fantastic. They're really soft and sort of pliable and yeah, he just looks a heck of a lot more comfortable in it. Um, yeah, oh seriously, that thing gives such a relaxing vibe. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. This absolute disaster of a clipping vlog. It went very, very badly wrong, didn't it, Sausage? What are you doing? But he's all nice and relaxed, he's had a little brush, he's had a little pamper and a massage um, and I'm going to go ahead and pop him to bed now and we will resume tomorrow and see if we can have another go at getting him clipped. Hopefully one of my two batteries will actually charge and hold a charge. Still a little bit concerned about that but who knows, maybe we you know, plugged it in and didn't switch it on, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this one today, guys. Are you going to say goodnight, Woody? Yep. And I will see you all in our next video. Bye!